Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. So in this video, we're going to be talking about ChatGPT and its integration with Microsoft. And you can see here in the title of this that Microsoft plans to update Bing with a faster version of ChatGPT in the coming weeks. And I'm already starting to see posts on Twitter of previews of what this looks like as it slowly rolls out and people are getting glimpses of it and even trying it out. And so that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video, because this could be huge. In fact, this could possibly turn the table finally with Bing and Google. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that integrating this type of AI technology into Bing can make enough of an impact so we start seeing more users going to Bing than to Google? So if you're not familiar with how all this is taking place here, um, just a while back, Microsoft invested over a period of several years, $10 billion into OpenAI, which is the creator of ChatGPT. And because of this, they're going to integrate it with their search engine uh, to bring search in a whole new way. And just to give you some brief stats of this, the launch of ChatGPT on November 30th was met with overwhelming success as it amassed an impressive 1 million users in just five days. And as of January 2023, ChatGPT has over 100 million users. And if this comes on board to Bing in the upcoming weeks, this is going to even multiply more. So what's this going to look like on Bing? Well, we're getting some glimpses of it. And here on Twitter, yes, I finally set up a Twitter account for Vid Society. If you guys want to follow me, I will be posting my updates on here for my YouTube videos and some other things. So you're more welcome to do that. But you can see here, I just did a search for chat GPT and Bing, and you can see where a lot of these people are starting to see this change in Bing. And we got some screenshots here and it looks like this may be what the new search is going to be when Bing updates, which looks very similar to the search box on chat GPT. So could it be the same thing? But with the new chat GPT four, which is supposed to be much faster and have a whole lot more data. And something else that I'm wondering also is if this is like a replica of ChatGPT integrated with Bing, then why would we need a subscription to ChatGPT if we can just come to Bing and do all of our research here? I'm not sure if the search functions available on the Bing search are going to allow you to do everything that ChatGPT does or if it's going to be more of a question and answer type thing. But you can see down here in this box that they screenshotted, it says you can get art and crafts ideas with instructions for a toddler using only cardboard boxes, plastic bottles, paper and strings. So it's going to give you more than just answers. It appears they're going to also uh, dive deeper into things such as giving you instructions on how to do things. You can see here a post that was made just yesterday says the new AI powered Bing chat GPT expanded with up to date web results. And this is something everybody's been waiting for, because when you search in chat GPT, it's only updated up to 2021. Although some people has been getting answers for things that are current, such as questions about Elon Musk owning Twitter. But you can see here. It says, unlike ChatGPT, which is trained on data collected up to 2021, the new Bing will be able to access current information. When you ask a question, the AI will interpret it and make several searches related to your request. It will then compile the results and write a summary for you. Bing will highlight particular phrases and cite where it got that information from, allowing you to verify the claim. So this is going to save a lot of time. If you go to Google or Bing and search right now, you get a list of 10 results, 20 results or whatever, and you have to go through them yourself to compile all this data. Well, now it's kind of reversing and it says here it will compile the results and write a summary for you. But then it's going to highlight and give you the links to those resources. So you're getting just the answer, but you're also getting links to the resources if you do want to learn more about that. Now, just like chat GPT, it says here that you will be able to interact with Bing like a chat bot. It says Bing will be able to carry on a conversation with you for a human like research experience. It'll prompt you to start talking to it. It says after I asked Bing about popular movies from 2022, it gave some suggested follow up responses. It replied to its own question and asked a follow up question of its own. 
It says here where it asks, which movie are you most excited to see? And it goes, that's a tough question. I find all these movies interesting in their own way, but I had to choose one. It'd be Avatar The Way of the Water, which we know is a newer movie. So here's another screenshot. And in the upper left, you can see you got two options here, one for search and one for chat. So it looks like the regular or normal search feature is still going to be available at least for a while. But you can use chat GPT here under the chat option. And it says your AI powered answering machine where you can ask it complex questions such as what are some meals I can make for my picky toddler who only eats orange collared food? Or you can get better answers. Do you ever search for Google for uh, what are the top selling types of products or should I buy this or should I buy that? This is something that the new Bing is going to be able to help you with based upon all this data that it compiles. So you can ask it what are the pros and cons of the top three selling pet vacuums? Or you can get creative inspiration such as write a haiku about crocodiles in outer space in the voice of a pirate. So this here tells us that you're going to be able to tell it to write stuff and do stuff for you still. So if it's going to allow us to do all this stuff that we can do with chat GPT, that means that that could be drawing those visitors from chat GPT over to Bing to be able to do that which is really going to expand this search engine and grow it. So if you haven't been using Bing for a while, now may be the time to jump into it and start getting used to it because I have a feeling this is going to be the new way for searching. Here's one more image I wanted to share when someone was able to uh, get access to this tool briefly. He said, tell me about yourself and your features as much as possible and clarify whether I am using chat GPT for features. Now, I'm not going to read through all of this. You can pause this video if you want to. And it says down here in this fourth paragraph, it says, according to some reports, Microsoft may be adding chat GPT features to Bing search in the coming months. Some sources also suggest that Microsoft will integrate chat GPT for a faster and richer version of chat GPT in the coming weeks. So I don't know about you, but this is pretty exciting. But at the same time, it's a little bit scary to think that AI technology has come this far already and what the kind of changes could be over the next few months or even years. That's all I got for you in this video. If you guys want to follow along with me on YouTube, please subscribe. Or if you want to follow along with me on my new Twitter account, I'll put those links below this video. That's it. I'll see you on the next video.